Hey everyone, about to go to the gym, get my workout on. Um, yeah, just have a lot of things on my mind, so I'm really going to work out, get the stress off of me. Uh, probably going to go in the sauna, get my sweat on, kind of get rid of some of this uh, fatty stuff. But uh, you, talk to you later. Welcome to Cruising with Nate! Hey guys, I kind of want to talk about the beach. Uh, I went to a wedding this last week and I got to see my parents, I got to see my aunts, I got to see my cousins. Uh, one of my cousins got married, obviously, because it was a wedding, but whatever. Um, and it was actually great. Um, the drive up there was very um, therapeutic, um, it was a very easy drive, no traffic, nice scenery, it wasn't too long, about an hour, or an hour and a half to uh, Roseville, and I got to see people I haven't seen in 10 plus years, which is a really long time, um, especially family members. It was great seeing my cousins. I used to hang out with them all the time. Um, we used to go up to my aunt's cabin and we were just getting crazy adventures. They had pellet guns. We'd go try to kill things. One time we tried to kill a bird and it flew between his legs and we thought it was going to bite his nuts off. <laughs> I saw my aunts. Uh, one of my aunts I haven't seen in like 15 years. Uh, she lives in San Francisco. I think she's a lawyer for like the Giants or something. What are you? Sure. They're scrubs. I just finished but it was great talking to her. I talked today. to her a lot about career. my career. Hey, that's good news. And Where can I get training? Kaplan College in Sacramento. You know what I want to do. And school. she actually complimented me, which kind of threw me off guard. You know, I, I quit my job, my whole career, my cushy job, make good money. You know, I was pretty high up. The chances of me getting fired were zero to none. And, you know, I gave it up. I gave it up because I'm not going to settle for second place. I want first place. I want to be the top dog. And uh, they kept promising me that they were going to give it to me. They didn't. So, you know, I stayed loyal to them for 10 years. And I, I took the punishment. And they never rewarded me. So, you know, you can only take so much punishment before you leave. And so I left. And, uh... You know, moved, moved on, you know, I, I haven't found out what I want to do, but, you know, I'm going to go and do what I want to do. And she complimented me because she thought that was really brave, and, you know, she was like, not many people can do that, and I commend you for doing that because that's what you should do, and you should do what you love, not just stay in a job because it, it, it's working financially for you. And, you know, that really caught me off guard and made me feel a lot better, not only better about myself, but now I'm more motivated. And it's weird. I, I feel like I can conquer the world and I can do anything I want to. And I did before, I don't know, just talking to somebody you haven't talked to in 15 years, and that's the first thing they tell you. You can tell us, like, the honest truth from them, and I'm just really motivated. And I'm going to go out there and really, you know, I, I say uh, I'm going to try looking for a job and I really don't get fully into it. But now I think I'm ready to put all my cards on the table and, you know, if they don't give it to me, it's on to the next one. Um, it's going to be hard because I don't have any experience other than movie theater. Luckily, I have a lot of manager experience. Luckily, I went to college, graduated, um, and I graduated when I was 19. That's something I'm always going to bring up to employers to show that you know I was dedicated. I didn't mess around. Uh, right after high school, I went to college, and I finished college at 19. Uh, unfortunately, that career type boring as hell, so I didn't go towards that. But. You know, hopefully they appreciate the fact that I'm a very motivated, dedicated, striving for perfection in 
employee. That's all they could want in an employee. What the heck? It's solid construction. I'm gonna let this guy go. I don't know. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that I made a wise decision? Um, just a little background, I was in the company for about 11, 12 years. I've been in every position. I was floor staff, I was a supervisor, a team leader, a manager, a first assistant. I was interim general manager three times, but they would never give it to me. They, they let me do it, they just wouldn't pay me for it. And uh, I applied for five GM positions and did not get any of them. And every time I asked, you know, what do I need to improve on? You know, why why wasn't I picked? And then, oh no, you're doing everything great. You know, your, your time will come. But they they had no improvement plan, no no plans. For, they just kept telling me I was going to get it, but I never did. So I don't know. You know, and I applied for theaters that were pretty far away. I applied for one in Long Beach. I applied for one in Santa Cruz. I applied for one in Davis. You know, I didn't really want to move to those places, but I wanted a position that bad. I was just like, screw it, I'll sacrifice everything. Give me this theater, I'll knock it out of the park, and then I'll get the theater I want. And, uh, yeah, that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> did I make the right decision that I moved on, or should I stay in my cushy job, or I was making pretty good money, I could live very comfortable, and you guys can be honest, like if you think that I made a bad decision, I should have stuck with it, then, you know, say that, I, see, you're not going to hurt my feelings, I'd rather know, you know, it's, it, and it's not going to be like, like, oh, all these people said I should stay, I so regret this, uh, you know what, regretting things is overrated, you know. You're gonna make mistakes in your life. You're gonna make big mistakes. That doesn't mean that you need to regret something. You can't go back. You know, it happened. Deal with it and move on. You know, life is, you know, short. And you need to live your life and do what you want. You know, don't let people's, you know, interpretation of you. Decide how you're going to be as a person. Be who you want to be. You're not happy, you know, look for another job. Now, don't go out and just quit your job without having another job lined up. I don't understand why people do that. Even if you're, if you're pissed, you, you have a day where they just piss you off and you're like, fuck this, and you want to walk out, you know what? You're, you're fucking yourself, really. Because they don't give a damn that you quit. Regular... I was with Regal for 11, 12 years. I guarantee you not one fucking person cared. They're like, eh, we'll just hire another one. You know, even though no one will produce the numbers I did. So they might be sad about that, <laughs> but they don't care because now they get to hire somebody in my same position with much lower pay because they didn't have as much experience in the company. That's how Regal looks at it. I'm gonna end this, guys. Uh, I'm almost at the gym. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.